six nights of productions from drama to comedy and more will provide opportunities for local playwrights and actors to showcase their work on stage. The Sankofa Evening of Theater and Jazz offers a vibrant schedule of performances this year. Here to tell us more is Kevin Hicks, Communication Director for the Bronze Collective and the Sankofa Festival, and Robert Jed Sneed of Moonwater Theater, who will also tell us about his latest project. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you for having us. So what's the history of the Sankofa Festival? How did it get started? Well, the, it actually started as part of a, um, an overall general summer festival at the Village Gate. And the it, it started out first as just one of your summer festivals, and then mm -hmm. they decided to add on theater and then found out that theater was the thing to go with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what exactly is the Bronze Collective? The Bronze Collective is a collection of four executive uh, producers, uh, myself, uh, Ruben Tapp, Curtis Rivers, and David Shakes, who came together about three and a half, four years ago and thought that we needed to have some kind of unity mm -hmm. in the African American theater producing plays. And we formed the Bronze Collective and we put on our first festival in February of 2015. Okay. Went very well and we just had our second annual um, festival in February That's of 2016. Right. Okay. So what is planned uh, for the Sankofa Festival for, for the summer? Well, uh, first I'm going to give the dates, which is uh, August uh, 25th, 26th, and 27th. It'll be at 7 p.m. And we're starting out with a uh, full-length play like we always do. And this okay. year we've got a, a little difference with a uh, playwright coming from Brooklyn, uh, Ann Thompson Stretching. Okay. She's an award-winning playwright, and her play is called Four Men on a Couch. And after that, uh, uh, well, she will actually be coming up for the uh, mm -hmm. opening night reception. So the audience will be able to interact with her, ask questions. Wonderful. And then. Is uh, this a comedy or what? It's, kind a, of? it's a comedy, yeah. Okay. yeah. A dramedy. A dramedy, a dramedy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was at Edison mm. earlier this year, and it's wonderful. Okay. I, I had a chance to see it. Okay, so that's the first three nights. Right, and then right. the next week, we, uh, which is September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, time shift. It'll be at 7.30, and uh, those are one-act plays each, uh, each night. And uh, we go with the uh, first night is um, Jahaka Mindstorm, and uh, I am looking for his play right now. Oh, uh, My People Pairs. My People Pairs, thank okay. you. And then uh, we go for the next night, uh, Grace Flores with uh, Now okay, and Then. Grace. Snitch by uh, Karen Colley. Okay. Spectrum by uh, DC Taylor. And then the uh, final night is Enough is Enough with Jaquetta Harris. The uh, Dancer, The Charlie Atkins Story by Michael Avent, mm -hmm. and Far From Grace by Laura A. Thomas, who has the distinction of being in every single one of the uh, Sankofa Theater Festivals oh, since the beginning. That's wonderful. So you mentioned that the first playwright, she's from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. How about the others? Are they mostly local, regional? Who can we expect to, to meet? Oh, they are. They're all other than um, the stretching, mm -hmm. scratching. Right, okay, <laughs> thank you. They're all local. Okay. And again, that's our, that's our desire, mm -hmm. to develop and evolve and develop relationships between local playwrights, actors, and producers. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, you, and you'll find this with, there are uh, black theater festivals around the country, and so Rochester is really uh, right there in the, in the vanguard. Every other year there's a National Black Theater Festival in Winston-Salem, mm -hmm. North Carolina. So. Uh, when you look at the theater festivals, I, I, I don't know if the Jed uh, had heard this, but we're actually ahead of Barbados, which is just getting started with their okay. uh, black uh, theater festival. So, <laughs> How about any emerging artists this year? Are there any uh, playwrights that are, are presenting new, you know, new work for the first time? I know Jaquetta's been with us. Mm -hmm. Grace was part of the Bronze Collective. Okay. Uh, J Jahaka, he did a reading the first year of the Bronze Collective, and now he's actually staging the play. Mm -hmm. So that evolution from getting a feel for reading it, doing mm -hmm. a stage reading, and now doing the actual production, and that's the kind of development and growth that mm -hmm. we want. Very uh, nice. Is there anyone? Well, Karen, Karen Colley, she uh, 
she said pretty pretty new. She had something that was in the um, Bronze Collective Theater Festival, but she hasn't been writing that long. Right. She did uh, Clarissa Street uh, monologues. Monologues. She mm -hmm. did okay. Clarissa Street monologues, and um, I, I think she's she's from New York City also. I I'm I not she, sure. Yeah, I think <laughs> she's from New York also, and. I don't think she's emerging. She's established, but <laughs> okay. she's new to Rochester. How about the venue? Tell us about uh, the yeah. Muck and and it. Yeah, the, the Muck is a very welcoming venue. It's it's our home base. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, except for the first year of the festival, and we were at the Dazzle Theater. Mm -hmm. okay. We've been at Muck ever since. Yeah. Okay. The Muck is so unique. Um, MUCCC, a multi-use community cultural center. When Doug Rice and John Borek started it, they really wanted to make um, a theater that was open mm -hmm. to elements of the community that weren't being served or that were being underserved, mm -hmm. and that's been their mission all the way through. Uh, the, now they have a radio station, WAYO, W-A-Y-O, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. you can basically get a show on and get your thoughts and ideas mm -hmm. out on that. And like I said, the, the theater has just evolved. I remember the first <laughs> year we were there, we had this movable stage in the corner <laughs> and no lights and stuff, and now it's just evolved. It's in the professional. Years. It's very professional. Very it's very, nice. very professional. And like I said, just inviting two uh, you, um, parts of the community that are underserved on the mm -hmm. stage. So you mentioned um, in the first couple of days there is opportunity to meet the playwright. Mm -hmm. Are there other opportunities throughout the festival to have that audience engagement? Yeah, a lot of times there's, there's talkbacks mm -hmm. after the uh, play and mm -hmm. uh, there was something that you were a little puzzled about why the director did this or that. Mm -hmm. That's your time oh. to, to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Jed, you mentioned that networking is a big part of this and, and developing the playwrights and the actors. Can you expand on that? Well, again, the, the purpose, the whole purpose of the Bronze Collective was to, number one, give a, a, a forum, give a way for emerging playwrights to have their works done on stage and then nurtured. Mm -hmm. And we, in the short two years that we've been doing it, have seen, like Jahaka, mm -hmm. go from, like I said earlier, from a stage reading to now to understanding. We did a, um, a call, uh, what mm -hmm. they call it, an artist call or whatever, mm -hmm. and people come in and having them read and choosing those. You get to see the whole process. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's not just uh, you write, somebody recites the lines, and it's over. Mm -hmm. No, you interact, you direct, you produce, you, 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 make it better mm -hmm. it, it's it's uh, we're just trying to really uh, nurture I guess that's the best sure. word. nurture mm -hmm. writers uh, producers directors uh, actors to uh, understand what theater is all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so after the Sankofa Festival, if that wasn't enough theater, <laughs> um, you've got another project going on, yeah. Jed. Pretty exciting. Tell us about that. Very exciting. Um, I wrote a play called Black Girl Blue. Um, actually, I was inspired by uh, Tyler Perry's uh, when he redid Into Zaka Shange's For Colored Girls. Mm -hmm. I, I saw that and I said, what he did was take a choreo poem and made it chronological, made it linear. Mm -hmm. You know, because her original piece is just, well, you know, a story, a story, a story, a story. But he actually told a linear story with it. I said, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. And he involved poetry. And part of my background is uh, spoken word poetry. So my, my play, Black Girl Blue, uh, includes uh, interludes of poetry nice. in the dialogue. And that's also at the Muck? That's going to be at the Muck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, the Sankofa Festival is what weeks, what dates? Uh, the 25th, 26th, 27th at 7 p.m. and then September 1st, 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. Or 7.30 rather. 7.30. Okay. And my play is September 8th, 9th and 10th, that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a 2 o'clock show and a 7.30 show on the Saturday the 10th. Mm -hmm. What has the community response been um, to these festivals that happen every year? It's, it's really been gratifying. Uh, I, a lot of times uh, people will bring their their own um, friends and relatives but that's not all, you know that's not enough to fill the seats so when mm -hmm. we see a full house we know that we've reached <laughs> beyond that yeah mm -hmm. 
What do you hope that the, the takeaway is for, for patrons that, that attend? For me, that there's quality writers, quality actors, and a lot of talent in the African American community, uh, the theatrical community. Um, mm -hmm. When you can do that, I think your community can have something they're proud of and that they can say, yeah, I knew that boy win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And finally, how can people um, get tickets to the show? Well, for Sankofa Fest, you can uh, go to the MUX website, and I always trip over it a little bit. Uh, it's uh, M-U-C-C-C.org. Dot dot org. Okay. Uh, and you could also call uh, Moodmakers Books, mm -hmm. which Great. is, uh, what's the number again? 271-7010. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with mine. You know, we also uh, sell tickets directly to the public. Okay. Same thing with mine. Um, you can get them on the MUCC website, www.muccc.org. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get them at Mood Makers Books. Excellent. Uh, my, my tickets, as well as you can get them directly from cast members or myself. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on, and good luck with the, oh. the festival and the show. Thank you. The Sankofa Evening of Theater and Jazz Fest and the play Black Girl Blue are both taking place at the multi-use community cultural center again and you can call 271-7010 for more information on either of the events. Thanks for joining us on this edition of CityWise. I'm Tiana Stevens and we'll see you next week.